In this video, I'm gonna show you how to wake in your race super easy and fast. Like, subscribe and let's go. So the first thing, you have to obtain a race. Yeah, if you just join Bloxroots, you already have a race, which chosen by random. For example, human, angel, shark, rabbit, angel I mean sky. So in the first C, you can get races only by that way. Also, you can reroll your race in the shop. You go to the shop, scroll down until you see change race. As you can see, change race costs 90 Robux which is not so cheap, I can say. And you can get human, shark, angel, rabbit with a one out of three chance per race. Yeah, that's random also. So we can spend a lot of money to get the race you need. Okay, after you've got this race, you can awaken this race even to the version four. How to do that? First, you have to go by yourself to the second C. And if you don't have required level to go to the C, you have to grind. Yeah. But if you have, let's go to the second C, guys. Let's go to the second C. And guys, don't forget while you grind in the first C, collect money as much as possible. Yeah, you'll need that later. Okay, here we are. Let's go to the second C. Except those phrases I have shown before, you can get also cyborg and ghoul race but to get them you have to complete a quest of course guys i have a guide how to get those races ghoul and cyborg get it and also you can awaken them too so the first thing you have to get level 850 then you go to the place called cafe location here will be a, a bartillo npc and you have to speak to him you will not be able to speak to him until you reach level 850 so keep that in mind he will give you a quest to kill 50 swan pirates where to find those pirates so you go to that place on the other side of this map where the second quest giver in the kingdom of rose stands just right here as you can see so around these around these buildings you'll find the swan pirate as you can see they are staying right there you have to kill 50 of them after that get back to bertillo to get another quest of course so you speak to him again and he'll ask you to defeat Jeremy Bows, which you will find just oh, she's so ugly. So Jeremy Bows will be on these mountains, on the top of this mountain, just right here. You have to go to that place and kill him. After that, after that, you have to go to the Coliseum. Coliseum you'll find just right here on the other side of this map. So you have to, you have to go that way. There will be a buttons with the carved runes, as you can see. You have to press them in the right order. How to know this order? Pretty easy. You can go to that place called Swan Mansion. Actually, you can go to the Swan Mansion first. Here we are. So, on the left side of this castle will be a table with the right order. So we can just remember that and you can free those gladiators inside this Coliseum. After you've did that, you unlock a special quest called Flower Quest. And this is the right quest to unlock the second version of your race. And also I'll show you where you can change your race. So you can change your race if you're using common races, for example. You can do it just right here. Tort NPC stands right here. And he will change your race for 3000 fragments. I have only one, so he doesn't allow me to do that. Okay, so how to start this flower quest? You have to go to the green zone location. So you'll find this NPC which will give you this quest. Alchemist NPC stands right here, just under those hems. So you have to speak to him and he will ask you to collect three flowers, red, green and yellow. So the red flower spawns only during the day and you can find them around second C. Watch my video about all flower locations. The blue flower spawns only during the night and you can find it in a graveyard location or inside this tiny cave on the secret floor. Yellow flower you can get from NPCs which you have to kill. And with the random chance, pretty low I can say, you will get this flower. After that, get back to this alchemist NPC again, speak to him, pay 500,000 belly, and you'll obtain a second version of your race. 
pretty easy. Next in the second C you also can evolve your race to the third version. How to do that? So the first thing you are going to the Kingdom of Rose again. Next turning right and behind this hill or something will be a secret entrance just right here. Let's go inside and there will be an arrow. Yeah, an arrow in PC which will give you a quest to evolve your race to the third version. But unfortunately, he will not speak with you until you complete one special condition. Of course, it's blocks fruits every time you have to suffer, doing some weird stuff or whatever. Yeah, you have to get used to it. So we are going to the small mansion again and you have to prepare a physical fruit which costs more than 1 million belly or 1 million belly whatever. So let's go to that NPC Trevor. You have to unpack your fruit and with the fruit on this panel you can speak to him and he will unlock a door, this door where this swan both spawns. He has respawn time about 30 minutes. If you don't see him, you can just server hop and kill him. It will be saved, so don't worry about it. After you kill this Don Swan, you can speak to the arrow again. The arrow NPC will give you a quest different for each races, so keep that in mind. I will tell you what quests you will need for your race. For the human race, you have to kill three bosses in the second seed, Diamond, Jeremy and Fajita. Here will be Diamond Balls, on this mountain will be Jeremy and the green zone location. On the back of this green zone location will be Fajita Balls, so you have to kill them all and you will complete your quest for the human. For the rabbit race you have to collect 30 chests. You can watch my video about all chest locations as you can see. You can find this video in description. For the shark you have to kill a sea beast. Very easy I can say, but you have to spawn it. Not someone once. For the angel race you have to kill another player with the angel race. For the ghoul race you have to kill 5 players. It can be the same person. And for the cyborg race you can breathe out because you have to to give any physical fruit to arrow and you, you'll complete the quest pretty easy. So after you complete the quest you have to pay 2 million belly and you can get the third version of your race. It's time to get the hardest version of the race, Force 1. So and for that we have to go to the third C. While I'm traveling to the third C guys don't forget that I have a membership on my YouTube channel so if you want to be my friend in Roblox, play with me, watch special videos to my members, you can join membership. How to do that? First you can check the link in description or you can go under my video and click join button just right here. Okay. Okay, in the third C we have a lot of things to do. Get your rest ready guys, because that will be pretty hard. Pretty hard preparation, not even obtaining this fourth version. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you have to kill Rapindra bows. How to do that? You can spawn this Rapindra NPC or bows as you wish, you can spawn him just right here with the God Chalice. Yeah, you have to obtain this God Chalice. If you don't know what this item is, you're lucky. <laughs> but if you understand what I'm saying right now, I see that your ass hurts right now. Place this chalice just right here and Repinder will spawn. But before that, you have to press buttons around this castle. Three buttons with the aura. You have to press three of them before putting this God's Chalice. After you've killed the Rapindra, after you've killed Rapindra, you have to kill a Doe King. Yeah, how to summon him? You need to have God's Chalice again. When you have it, you're going to the Sea of Treats or wherever. You're going to that way. So on this Sea of Treats, you have to go to the Chocolate Island. You go that way. The first thing, you have to obtain 10 Conjured Cocoa, which looks like that. You have to kill those NPCs. Yeah, and from them you can get this Coco. Also, you can kill those NPCs. Yeah, so don't forget to pick a quest first and then farm your Coco. After that, you are going to this castle, and I remind you guys that you need to have God's Chalice. Yeah, in the pocket. Make sure your connection is stable because if you leave the server, you can forget about everything you've done. Okay, after that, speak to Sweet Crafter and he will craft for you. A chocolate chalice or something like that. Sweet chalice, I guess. Yeah, sweet chalice. And with this sweet chalice, you are going to the another island, which you'll find just right here. You are going to the Rip Mama 
yeah, Drip, not Drip Mama, Drip Mama NPC, and he or she asks you to defeat 500 enemies on this island. After you've done it, and you still have this sweet chalice, you have to speak to Rip. You have to speak to this Mamasha again, and she or he will unlock this teleport. Yeah, and you'll go to the domain with this Do King. He's so strong, so don't even try to go solo, only with the friends and especially with Buddha Fruits. After you've killed him, you've got items. Spiky Trident, Pale Scarf, etc. Mirror Fractal, yeah, you'll got the Mirror Fractal. That's the most valuable thing in the game. I think I have it. Yeah, Mirror Fractal looks like that. You will need this item to unlock your last version of your race. So after that, go to the castle and see, go behind this castle, speak to this NPC again, I don't know for what reason, and after that you are going to the great tree location which is just right there. And climb up on the top of this tree. Okay, here we are on the top of this tree. So, as you can see, there will be an invisible NPC, Nevidimka. Okay, so you have to speak to him and he will teleport you to the Temple of Time. That's where suffering starts, if you don't have enough suffering. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, we're going to that place. Come on. And here will be a handle or something. And to be able to use it, you have to use your mirror fractal in some weird way. Okay, how to do that? To use this handle in the Temple of Time, you have to summon Mirage Island. Yeah, that's pretty hard thing to do. So how to spawn this Mirage Island? You have to pick a boat and you have to sail around until this Mirage Island spawns. This is the rarest sea event in a third sea and you have to sail a lot to summon this Mirage Island. But if you are playing with your friends, you can sail together, they also need to have boats and the chance to spawn Mirage Island will be a bit higher. So you can use this tip to summon this Mirage Island and you have to go to the highest point of the Mirage Island, look to the moon and press your ray scale. And when moon start glowing, you have to find the gear in this Mirage Island with the fog of course. And when you found this gear, you can use this handle. Sounds easy, but no, sounds super difficult. Good luck guys, good luck. I have suffered too guys, so I understand you. After you've done everything, you can unlock this door. Bams! And let's go, let's go, finally! But this is not the end guys, as you understand. First, you have to find a room with your race. For example, I'm using shark right now and I have to find shark room which is just right here. You can see those signs on the banners. But how can you enter to this? Oh guys, first you have to wait for the full moon. Next you have to find other free players. You can ask them in our discord or using server or ask your friends. They must have a sort version of the race at least and after that you are going to that gate every of you go to that gate and you have to press your scale race scale exactly in the same time as your friends and after you press it you all will be teleported to the trials yeah and you all have to complete it if one of you failed you have to start again yeah you have to start again after that will be a death match and the last one standing will be able to get your race vacant yeah after that you go you follow the orb which leads you to that place just right here you go upstairs and there will be your race awakening you have to choose your skill which you want after that for maximizing your race skills you have to repeat it again and again but after that you have to speak with the ancient ore and you have to pay him for example a thousand fragment which i can do right now as you can see i just upgraded my race skill of my race and that's how we can awaken your race for level one to level four 